Hi there everyone, my name's Dave West. I hope we're all doing well. So welcome back to my photo editing tips tutorial series. And I know it's been a short while since I've done one of these uh, due to the coronavirus lockdown and the fact that we've got more people living in the house at the moment. It's been very difficult to get some peace and quiet to do this kind of thing. But now things are slowly starting to get back to normal and people are starting to go back to work. I can start this series back up again and show you some tips on how you can change the look of your photos and also use various editing tools to get the most out of your images. So in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be uh, showing you how to get the matte or faded look on your photos. And it kind of gives them that uh, painting hanging on the wall look and just takes away a little bit of the digitally processed look from your images. The app I'm gonna be using is Snapseed. Uh, Snapseed is a fantastic photo editing tool. One of the best things about it is, is that all of the features are free without hiding behind the paywall and you can make it as easy or as complicated as you want to get the best look from your photos. I will leave a link in the description to both the Android and iOS versions of the app so you can go and take a look in your own time. Now, if you've not used Snapseed before and you're a bit daunted by all of the tools that are available, there is a tutorial section which is available by clicking the three dots in the top right hand corner and that will give you an introduction to all of the different features and show you how you can use them to their best advantage. So the image I've selected for today's tutorial is this picture of this tree here. Uh, it's a very popular tree to take photos of. I've seen lots of people up here before uh, taking images of this because it's kind of got a, an idyllic look to it. This was taken around about uh, midday, so it's got a high sun and it's not quite the contrasty look that I wanted. However, I will show you some uh, just very simple things that you can do to adjust the look of the image to give it that matte effect. So the first thing I want to do is crop the image. You can see we've got this dirt track at the bottom of the image here. I don't want that in the image. I want more of the tree and the sky in the background in the image instead. So to do that, just go into the crop tool. So you just press the little pencil icon here, press crop, and it's already selected my most favorite one, which is 16 by nine. And that allows me to get more of the tree in the shot, not of the dirt track in the sky instead. So. And it's also great for sharing as well. Uh, Twitter actually uses a 16 by nine format for images. So this will fit exactly in the frame without people having to tap and then expand the image. So I'm happy with how that looks at the moment. So I just press the tick and there we go. That is the image now as I would like it. Now, what we're gonna do is use the tune image section first of all. And in order to start off the process of giving this a more matte look, just take the contrast and then reduce that. And we can see already, it's kind of taken away that kind of uh, digital shine that you can sometimes get when using a mobile phone to take these kind of photos or any other camera for that, for that reason. So you can see there, if I just pull that back, there's nothing wrong with the photo as it is. If we start moving that back, it gives it a kind of more dreamy feel, you could say. And around about minus 80 is around about fine. So next thing you want to do then is take the shadows and just increase them just a bit. So around about 40 is around about fine. The next thing you want to do is use the ambience tool. Now this is a desirable, you don't have to use this. But if I show you the differences by using the ambience tool, so you can kind of make it Sort of uh, more darker or lighter as you like, but I want to go for the kind of lighter effect here. So around about 40 again. And I will show you the before and after in a moment. So you can see already the difference that it's made to the image. So the next thing I want to do then is just add a pinch of saturation, just a bit, just to bring out those greens a little more. That's fine as it is. So you can see that's the changes that we've made. So there's the original and there is the not quite finished image, but you can see the difference already. It kind of just gives everything a softer look. Kind of a more dreamy, kind of enchanted look to it at the same time. So next thing I want to do then is go into the curves section. Now this may seem slightly more advanced to some of you, but trust me, you can make some adjustments here and I'll show you how it works now. So all I want to do is use the red and the luminance tool. So I'm gonna use red first. Now the sections that we're looking for, see these areas here, which is the kind of not quite fully grown 
uh, grass which is on the mountain just want to go around the center of the image so if we just go to the center of the line and just push up slightly you can see it has a slightly warmer look to those parts of the image if we look at the tree leaves as well it gives them a kind of autumnal look if you like I know it's sort of approaching summer at the moment, but you can see the subtle differences that it makes to the image. Just, you don't want to go too crazy, because if you do, it just looks awful. But just, just a smidge there, that'll be fine. And then go into luminance. And then you can adjust the brightness of the image as you see fit. I just want to go a little bit brighter, because I want to, if you just look at the main tree branch here, Just want to bring some it, it's strange to say but if you look at it it just brings more focus to that at the same time okay so happy with that now now one thing i want to do as well is this lady here who's uh, taking a photo of some sheep i just want to add a bit of pop to that part of the image just to give a focal point to where she's standing so if you use the selective tool and click on that part of the image and then use your fingers to just drag down the size of the area that you're going to be making adjustments to. So you just want to make the circle around where she's standing. So it doesn't affect too much of the rest of the image. Doesn't matter if you don't get all of her in there, but the lady and the dog just want to make some small enhancements. So just increase the brightness slightly and then we can use the structure now it doesn't look very good here but when you zoom back out you will see the difference so take that to around about 40 and then finally just some saturation just to make this lady and a dog stand out in the image a little bit more so that's that part done so if I zoom straight back out you can see now it just stands out in the image a little bit more if I show you the before and after so there's before and there's after and again this is all down to personal preference some of you may not like this but it's just showing you how to get this kind of matte effect and get a slightly different look in the image so now that is done I just want to add a frame to the image Again, this is all down to preference, but I just think it finishes off the image nicely. We're well, not minus 20, so it's not quite as, th as, quite as thick as it was before. If you just drag out slightly, that's fine. Now you can change the look of the frame, so you can have a more squared off corner. I like these kind of more rounded corners instead. And that is how you get the finished look and give a more matte or flat look to your image just by using those simple controls. Now, if you ever get lost at any point, you can click this arrow at the top of the screen here and then view all of the edits that you've done. And then you can just click on each one and that will show you all of the changes that you've made to the image. So if I just start with the original, then the crop, then tune, curves added, selective to bring up more pop in that area where the lady is standing with her dog and also then the frame as well. And that is our finished image. Okay, so that is it. That is the end of the tutorial. If you've got any questions about anything you've seen in the video or any suggestions, I'm always open to suggestions and trying something new, then please do let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And don't forget, if you're new here, then please do consider subscribing so you don't miss more videos coming like this very, very soon. But for now, this has been my tutorial on how to get the matte or faded look on your smartphone photos. My name is Dave West. And I'll catch you guys later.